Welcome to a vision hub. Today we're going to start the approaches in psychology, aka psychology. Origin of psychology. So Wood opened the first lab in Germany in 1879. He came up with this idea of introspection, which is when you describe the nature of human consciousness by recording conscious thoughts with the aim of breaking them down into constituent parts. Structuralism is when you isolate the structure of consciousness. A strength of Wood's um, early early research was that it re recognizes conscious thought processes, and this was a starting point for future researchers. However, the methodology is not natural because analyzing thought processes interferes with natural processes, reducing scientific rigor and making replication difficult. One scientific approach to psychology. If something is scientific, it has to be objective, which means it's not biased, it has to be systematic, and it has to be replicable. So one scientific approach to psychology was that all behaviour is seen to be caused, it's determined, and since behaviour is determined, it is possible to predict the manner in which humans will behave in different conditions. Psychology as a science has four goals. Number one, description, so you describe what has taken place. Number two, explanation, why the behaviour of the mental process has taken place. Number three, prediction, which is when you identify the conditions in which the same behaviour can take place in the future or the mental process that is most likely to take place. Number four, change. This is when you want to prevent the unwanted behaviour, enabling a desired change. In our next video, we're going to look at behaviorism, but before then, make sure you make your notes on what we've covered today. Remember to revise, rest, test and repeat yourself. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you to Canva because I made these slides using their templates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, press the bell icon on our channel, Revision Hub. Thank you so much.